Right, I camping out here at Moon Island again. You'd think this is the uh, the only place in Southeast Queensland that you could actually camp, but whatever. Oh, just fucking really broke my fucking toe again. Here we go, camping out with a few other people. <laughs> right, uh, short and sweet for this one. We we're uh, battling 90 knot winds last night. Knocked over just about every tent that we had. Crushed one of our gazebos, and we got another one coming on the way tonight. So, short little one. Be a good idea to run through a couple of little um, camp kitchen essential items. Be good to have along. Just if you're going camping once or twice, whatever. Just a couple of key little things to have. First one, cutting board. Doesn't need to be fancy. Something hard, something you can chop on. Doesn't even need to be a good one. Be a half piece, burnt piece of wood. I'll do. This one, little one's bloody ripper. Just got that from uh, old mate Harry from Fire to Fork. That's a bit of a WA jarra. Absolute treat to cut on. What goes with a cutting board? Probably a knife. So, chopping a few things up. This is super basic. I think this cost 12 bucks from Cole. Nice sharp knife, surprisingly sharper than most things I get. However, I do have this nice little knife from Osbry. Just bloody sharp little number. That thing's beautiful. So, look, a really good sharp knife. Works a treat. Don't wanna be trying to chop up salads or whatever else with one of these little things. Get yourself a good little quality knife. Right, a couple of tongs, one will do, but if you can get one, metal. Cooking with hot cast iron, stuff like that, you can get yourself the little rubber ones from Coles, but they'll probably burn. These are good if you're cooking on LPG, cooking on cast iron, stuff with real heaps of heat, metal. What are you gonna eat with? Knives and forks, and a spoon maybe. I should grab a nice little set of these, uh, they're Cedar Summit brand, and they're super simple. Comes with a nice little carabiner, keep them all tidy and together in one place. Knife, fork, spoon, super simple, really light too. Saves you carrying home your um, kitchen utensils or remembering to bring them each time. You've just got a set or two in there each time. So Cedar Summit brand, they're awesome. They're super light, you don't add any kind really of like, like this weight to- fucking heavy thing, mate. Fuck. <laughs> Stick all the big heavy fire over here, right? <laughs> so as I was saying, you want to save a lot of weight as, as often, oh, as much as you can. Oh. All right. Well, while we're talking about not saving weight, um, frying pan. You want to have a half decent frying pan to take with you. If you're cooking on a fire, cast iron is a must. So you can't just bring one of your missus' pans from home. Go grab yourself either a cheapy campfire brand or something, or get yourself, there's some premium cast iron pans out there that you can get. They add a bit of weight, uh, but they'll last forever if you trick them right. And to cook on a frying pan, you want a good little spatula as well. It's another little cheapie from Coles. Look, look, you don't need to spend a shitload of money on any of this stuff. I wish there was a metal version of this somewhere that I can buy. If anyone knows of one, comment, let me know, because I'd love to buy one. The best thing I've found, which has been a tip, I've seen from a few YouTube channels actually, um, but paint scraper, straight from Bunnings. A lot of people don't actually like me buying things from Bunnings for this, but this thing works bloody well. Stainless, a little sharp edge on it, perfect. On your frying pan, easy. There's a ton of other things that you could be bringing along for your camp trips. You'll just work it out as you go, but these are a couple of little things that you just definitely want to have. Gear bags, something I'm going to talk about in another video. So I'll run through a bit of that stuff, but plates, same deal as your cutlery. Bring your own ones from home, but they might be ceramic, they'll probably break. Paper plates suck. Who's ever sat around a campfire and sat on a chair and have their paper plate just collapse on them? Campfire brand again. Acrylic enamel, does a brilliant job. Same with bowls, cups. Next, get in the nitty gritty. Some people like to make a damper or something when they're cooking or when they're out camping. Be the star of your mates. Measuring cup, pretty good uh, Pretty good idea to have one of these if you can. Don't need to have every fucking measurement in the, uh, in the world. I just bring along a one cup and you can guesstimate it from there. That'll do. That's plastic again, keep the weight down. All right, dishwashing liquid, definitely something you need. You're not gonna go away for a weekend of camping and then uh, go home and do all your washing then. Or if you do, you'll be in a world of hurt. So, dishwashing liquid and a little tub. Something basic, I can recommend get one without a uh, hole in the bottom. You don't need it, you can uh, flip it over. Also don't get it with all this lovely sand in the bottom. That's something you don't want in there. So, a little bit of that, some hot water, 
clean as you go and uh, you'll be right as rain. Okay, while we're talking about washing up, another little tip that I've actually recently seen, I thought it was the most brilliant idea in the world, another Bunnings tip. People love these. Dishwashing liquid, a bit of water, and a pump bottle. You can take all the drinking water in the world and then just bring this fella along and then that's your cleaning for the weekend. Do yourself a favor and go spend 20 bucks and grab one of those and save yourself a lot of trouble. Last but not least, you're cleaning up. What are you gonna wipe it down with? Are you gonna let it dry wherever? Tea towel. So, tea towel's bloody good. Good tip, bring two. These always get dirty. This thing's been in the sand about 15 times this weekend. We've only been here one night. So, two or more. One little last thing I wanna show you. Uh, one of my mates got me onto these. Little scrubber brush, straight from Coles. I don't even know what they cost now, a couple of bucks, whatever. Little plastic bristles, but these things are bloody awesome for washing. Use detergent, clean up, pots, pans, cast iron, they do everything. Solid thing to buy. And to go with that as well, wipes. Rather than taking a whole bottle of spray and wipe around, these little things, wipe over your tables, get a lot cleaned up while you're at it. Bloody good. All right, so one more thing that I actually want to show you after all this. Before I show you this last thing, I figured I'd talk about why I bought this. I really like bloody coming to Morton Island. We're very lucky in Southeast Queensland to have this place. It's about an hour drive from where we live. Beautiful beaches. It's just pristine. Yeah, it's my absolute favorite place to come to and it's just so easy. Just such a good spot. But one of the best things I like about it, unlike Fraser Island, you can have campfires here. But it's summer, there's been a few fires lately, so there's a small fire ban on at the moment. It's meant to end soon. Fortunately, it looks like it's gonna end a day or two after we leave. So, no campfires. We're abiding by the rules, um, but I wanna cook with cast iron. Um, camp oven, fry pan, I've got an LPG gas cooker if I need it, but I'd rather not use it. So, what do you do? Search high and low for a couple of solutions. I wanna stay within the rules, uh, which is fully enclosed no open embers, you'll see. All right, here's what we got. Kings again. They strike again. Let me explain why this is allowed. It has to be fully enclosed, okay? Also, you cannot use firewood in this. Uh, it has to be using manufactured fuel, so heat beads. That's what we've got in there. Can't let any embers out. It's got a big smokestack, but this thing pumps out some heat and also has a little bloody water container on there to boil some water if you need to. I just wanted to show this off as a really good solution if campfires aren't allowed, but uh, it, you gotta make sure that it's within the local park rules. I've got this because it is within the rules of the Morton Island National Park uh, fire ban. So if you're gonna use one, you absolutely have to make sure that it works within that. But other than that, go for it. Saves you having to build a campfire or get a fine or worse yet, set fire to something that shouldn't be set fire. That's it for me for this weekend. A um, couple of simple little things. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the last bit of this sunset and uh, hopefully we don't have a storm coming out that way. All right, next time, see ya.